Thank you. Well, I'm here as a developer and I love circuits. I run my own company called Coda Collective, where I actually connect electronics to the internet and build machines uh, that you can control over the internet. That's often the, the um, inquiry I get. Uh, but today I'm going to talk about the love of my life, circuits, and it's been a long story. Ten years, I started with the basic stamp, and for some people uh, this might be uh, a bit, um, you might not be used to some of the terms, and I think you can look it up uh, if you wonder or speak to me afterwards. But basically, um, when I prototype, I use these kind of open uh, hardware uh, developer platforms, and it, it started quite early. Uh, my background is in web development, and when I realized that I could control the world with my code on a circuit board, I was hooked. And now, nowadays I work with it, but it's been a long journey to get there, to get web and electronics to meet. And I started off with Arduino, first basic stamp and then Arduino. And Arduino, I think it's a great community and you can find a lot of boards. But in the early stage, I found uh, Arduino with an Ethernet port. That was obviously my first connection to the internet and circuit boards. And I wanted to be like um, wireless. So the next part was to get all these bulky shields for my Arduino with a big antenna. And then I had a good experience with rugged circuits, a yellow jacket board where I actually had a Wi-Fi card on top of it. But uh, the space was an issue. I couldn't fit in my code and um, TCP worked quite good, but UDP didn't. And then I found the board Arduino Yun, which has Linux and Arduino uh, scorched into the same board. And I used this in a num number of projects and I prototyped it as well. So um, I used it to connect um, graveyards in Sweden so you could control lights on um, All Saints weekend. Uh, so four graveyards had each one an Arduino Yun with an internal Wi-Fi to control lights and also to be able to report back to me how the installation was going. But still, it had some kind of, uh, it was big and it, it still had some um, space issues. If you're running Linux, you can't really actually, um, like I use Node.js uh, and the modules I used, I couldn't actually install them because the memory was too small. So then I got into the Raspberry Pi and I was stuck there, but Raspberry Pi is quite big in many ways and maybe does too much for me sometimes. So I found my new love, Photon. It's from the company Particle. It might uh, spark. Uh, and I, I'm not sponsored in any way because when there's a new board, I will talk good about that one, just so you know. <laughs> Um, but this one, it's small and it connects to the internet uh, straight away. I actually set it up today when I was here to, uh, through the local Wi-Fi here and I just entered the uh, details of the Wi-Fi and it's up and running. And basically it's an Arduino but with more space um, and with more functionality. And if you haven't worked with hardware before, you can actually uh, buy this and you can download the app. You can start just controlling things. So in the Arduino world, we talk about different pins. I could put an analog sensor, like a potentiometer, and connect it and actually see it within this app. Um, I can get the LED to blink on it as well. So the threshold for actually making something where you connect your web services and, and your stuff on the internet with electronics, it's, it's never been easier. Um, and then I would maybe show how I code in it and then I can take a screenshot. Um, I can either download their IDE or I can actually use it here. Uh, I'll just go into a web address and I have all my projects here in the cloud. It's the future, right? And 
I thought I would show some of uh, these examples. Um, first of all, I think it's really cool that once I hook up my Photon, um, I can actually use Node.js or I could use some of their SDKs, but I can even just log data from it if it has an internet connection. So instead of actually plugging this card into uh, my computer and through serial port, see the log, I can actually see it straight away uh, wherever I am. And that's great, right? Uh, I'll show it here. Let's see. So here I just have some code, uh, Arduino code. I have all my different sketches here. And if I want to, I can actually create a new app and import libraries that are part of the community. So it's really accessible if you want to start to, to do your Arduino projects just straight on a computer where you don't have any files at all. And the amazing thing is also that it's alive. I have a few and now I see, I plug this one into my computer here and I just see that it's live and I can get a log on how it's feeling and then now I'll, I'll just try the light sensor here and it just logs things in real time. And I think this is how developer platforms should be. Um, my dream is that I have maybe a SIM card in a similar development platform and it just starts straight away from wherever I am. Uh, and I can, here I can actually access the API as well. So I could just make a simple website uh, here and it actually just calls a certain URL and I post a form to it and the LED turns on here. You can see, can see the code afterwards and I turn it off and it's off. So yeah, isn't that amazing? 2016. No, but this is how it should be, I think, with many developer platforms. And um, also I can obviously use this in different SDKs. I can, let's see. And now I have a few of them as well. And compared to Arduino Yun, where you actually uh, set up it with your Wi-Fi. It can only hold one Wi-Fi. With this one, if I have my development project at the office and then I go to the summer house or I go back to the office or, or home, it works because it, it remembers all the Wi-Fi's. Uh, and the amazing thing with this is also that if you would want to make this into a larger project, uh, Particle is actually, they have a platform for actually buying more of these and being able to actually um, admin all of these. So you could make you, your own IoT project from this and actually being able to update the firmware on all of them and see who's your customer. And I'm going to show it. Let's see. Yeah, this is just a screenshot of what they actually can offer. So once you do your prototype, you can you can do it and test it, and then you could go in a larger scale, buy more, and actually have your own cloud that they offer, your private cloud or uh, or their cloud. And it's also supported on different SDKs like Apple and Android, and also Node.js. And I think the amazing thing with this is that all of these development boards, they, the important thing is what they actually can support. And in this case, the more platforms, the more people will use it as well. And it's not just the software part, but actually the hardware part as well. So a company like SparkFun that sells a lot of electronics, they already done a few uh, breakout boards for the Photon. So uh, this is for making your wearable projects where you actually 
have uh, threads that can conduct electricity. So basically you can do your uh, Wi-Fi enabled wearable that you sew into your textiles. Or you can use this uh, OLED screen and a number of other things, weather station. So I think this is a really nice ecosystem for me now. And then I'll change when it's a new one, obviously. <laughs> and that's the thing. I'm standing here to tell you about my experience. I think afterwards it would be really interesting to hear your experience. Do you have a good platform in any other case, like when it comes to the Arduino platform or other things? And um, I still have my love for Raspberry Pi, obviously, because that reminds me of the web development. And I can have all my different programming languages. I love to run my Node.js um, projects. I've done some film installations because it has really good support showing uh, uh, high definition films. And I can even run Windows 10 on it. Would I want to do that? <laughs> well, I want to because I want to connect my Connect 1. It doesn't support Connect 2 at the moment. And the amazing thing is also that this very cheap, small fellow also can control industrial motors. So in the latest project, I actually used it to control these really strong and very fast industrial motors, uh, which means that you can basically build really large machines with this small computer. So it's still my favorite. And if you have uh, questions about this particular project, like what kind of um, technology I used, you can ask me later and then we can go into detail. But I have to um, end with another project that's not uh, out there yet. It's a Kickstarter project, which I think is interesting. And we're still in the Windows platform, uh, unfortunately. Um, it's because I don't use it that much. That's why I talk, uh, talk bad about it. But I think it's really interesting because this is uh, like a Raspberry Pi clone that actually has Arduino on it and it has Windows on it. And it means that you can actually use things that you can't use with many development platforms, like, for instance, um, Kinect or uh, Leap Motion or things that are just supported on Windows. I have a mocap camera that I use now that only has this SDK for Windows. So I think this is really interesting um, as a new platform when you do installations or experiments. Um, so please uh, grab me afterwards if you want to have a look at Photon or talk about your favorite circuits. Mm -hmm.